Thank you for choosing Grand Skills as your number one online free professional course creator. For your notice, I want you to know that the instructor of this course has put in so much effort, time and money just to create this content for you to learn all for free. So please do well to click on the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification to all so you will be the first to get a video tutorials we'll be posting at all time. Also give it a thumbs up and drop a comment to help us So these are actually fishes in in an eighteen pond, but uh, this is a soccer pit which is being used as an eating pond. If you look at the fishes, you see that they are not swimming too strong. You see that they are moving somehow sluggish. You can see how they are moving and their face is facing up. This is because they are lacking oxygen. They are bringing up their heads on the surface of the water, sustaining themselves, meaning they are lacking oxygen. And uh, because of this, they are already moving sluggish, meaning they are being uh, infected and also and also with a lack of oxygen so what we'll do is we are going to remove them from this pond we have been observing this for for a week now you can see them sustaining themselves you can see that one they are not moving with enough speed they are actually moving sluggishly you can see them so what you do in this case is you have to remove them from this etching pond that is the reason if you if you are digging an earthing pond, you need to have extra pond, either tarpaulin or concrete pond available in case they get sick in the in the earthing pond. You have to remove them and treat them in that pond. Now you can see one is dead already. Now you can see that. Yeah, so you can see it's dead already. That is because there is no much oxygen in the water and the water also has been contaminated by bacterial infection so what we do is we'll remove all this water from this pond from this atom pond with the pumping machine and remove all the fishes once they remove them here give them fresh water they'll be okay or if they are not okay you can also you can also uh, add the uh, ozetetracycline hydrochloride in uh, in the water for them and you also add in their feed you also add a little salt for them so and you come back to this pond after you have removed them what you now do is 
you you use enough salt since you have removed all the water you pour enough salt you can buy 50 kg salt and you sh you share 25 kg and use it for the pond depending on the size of the pond now with this size of the of this pond i'm going to use 25 kg salt for these two ponds i'm going to use 25 kg salt for these two ponds so you can see the size this is actually eight by eight feet pond and the depth from where the water is down is is actually six feet and this one is this one is eight by five feet in size and the length also is uh, six feet so that is, is it and since we have observed it today we have we, we have observed we have been observing them we have been observing them for a week now they have been showing this sign so what i'll do is they have been fed today this morning and uh, we are not going to feed them again in the evening because we are going to remove them tomorrow so they don't get too much stress up. And tomorrow we are going to remove them. So that is it. That is one way you know your fishes are not okay. This is knowing your fishes. Knowing your fishes' behavior. You can see them, how they are moving. You can see them moving sluggishly. You can see that one, that black one. You can see it. You can see how it's moving. Meaning, it's not feeling okay. You can see them. Meaning, they are not okay. That is how you know your fishes are not feeling fine. That is the number one of it. And if they are also swimming side, 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 moving with speed, hold on. They move with speed, they hold on. It also means they are not feeling fine. Something is itching them. So that is the waste pipe over there. You can see the pumping machine are being connected and the water will be wasted from this place to the place that is being directed to the gutter outside, to the drainage outside. So if you want to waste your water from your eating pond, you connect it with a pumping machine. It's, you cannot actually fetch it with your hands. So you can get a pumping machine or you get one hired and you do your discharge, discharge with your pumping machine. There's also a surface pump, which you can also use I will show you. There's also a surface pump which you can use. It comes with different horsepower. So after discharging this area, they will discharge this area because it's of two demarcations. So that is it for 
water for draining out your water from your earthen pond. So that is how it is it works. is actually bouncing a bit back because the waste pipe is a three inch, a three inch against two inch. So it is better for you to put a four inch pipe outside so that when you use a two inch, the hard flow will be, will be going out smoothly. So there won't be any, there won't be, there won't be any throwback. There won't be any throwback in this area. So that's if you use four inch. So for the for the outlet against against two inch. But whereby you use three inch just as I did against two inch, the water will always the water will always fall back. There won't be smooth outlet. So that is it. bigger ones here that are playing around. Let us see. Oh. Okay. Put away. See the not the yash with this. Live on, live on now. Oh, boy, I perceive that. So they are now removing this one. Huh? Whenever I remove it. No, when they talk something, come on, they will be covered. They are done removing this one. The you can see the water is finished the pumping machine could not remove all the water but it was remaining at least three percent of water in the pond and they have to use buckets to remove them off so no when this one they talk do something so they are going to remove these ones now I am rope. So one person will be at the top and they will have to tie a rope to the scooping net and send it down to one person down if you have uh, no scooping rope so one person will scoop it out and give it to the other and then drag it out Give me. You remove the ladder. 
Come on, come on, please lie down. Sorry. So they will remove the ladder to get easy access to the fish. When they finish, they send it back so the person inside will come out. So you can see them. Point inside you. Wait, now they come. So you can see it. That is how they will remove all of them. And I'm going to take you to the pond where the first ones are. This is actually a gutter, which all the ones at the back, when you waste the water, they go from here, they go from here until that area there, and it goes to the soccer pit. So we are heading to the backyard. We are we are putting those ones. This is the first one where we are going to put them. Since the fishes did not grow inside this place, once you put them inside this pond, it is either you reduce the water or if you fill up the water, you have to you have to use the net to cover the ponds to avoid them jumping out. So these are the ones that is already here and this ones the pond has already been washed and I'm going to these are where these ones are so these are the first pond that they have removed so the water is down because I will have to remove this water again I have to remove this water again after putting all the fishes here. So I will have to wash out the dirt from them. And then I begin to I begin to sort out the small ones from the big ones and and then put them in this other pond. Then I'll have to increase the water for them. So you can see that is how you remove your fishes from your eaten pond. And here now, since they have been removed to this place, you won't actually experience any mortality again because they, are, they will be getting good oxygen from here. And there is no, there is no need giving much treatment. What you do is you can just uh, add a little salt to the water and the uh, oxytetracycline hydrochloride, which is Pantex. So you can just add to their water and add a little to their feed and give them and they are fine. So add a sachet of oxytetracycline hydrochloride to the level of water like this. You can see the size of the pond. Or you add it to their feed instead of adding to the water. Then you can add a bit salt. Add like a Add like 20 grams of salt to, sorry, not 20 grams. Uh, add like uh, 40 grams of salt. Add, you add uh, 40 grams of salt to a bag of their feed, mixing it together with the oxytetracycline hydrochloride. Then after that, they are okay. Then the pond, the earthen pond, you buy enough salt, 25 kg bag of salt, and you use it to wash that pond or to just put it in water and sprinkle all over in the pond and the pond is being treated. Then you can still use it again. You can send back the fishes there or you can still use it again. 
so as you can see now we have finished sorting the fish here are the sizes that will take 3 mm size of feed and these are the 50 to 150 grams we are going to take 3 mm size of feed and here we have 43 pieces of all this water Here we have 43 pieces and these are also the same size of that one but these are the these are the Mozambique Dutch which is the white ones which is the white ones so you can see them these are the Mozambique Dutch and here we have 128 you can see you can see some of them are having wounds so you shouldn't mind the medication which you give to them will actually treat all those so these are the mozambique dutch and they are 128 in this place and these are the ones that are bigger than them these are the black ones which is the Clara's uh, Garipinus and we have 100 pieces here which all together is 271 here 100 the other place 43 and we have 28 128 here from at the white ones so you can see the wounds so once you mix the medication for them in their feed gradually the wounds will go so now that we have finished transferring them and we are finished sorting them you don't need to feed them immediately you have to give them a place from tomorrow you can start feeding them you don't need to rush in feeding them immediately. Just give them like the nest, like the nest, uh, at least 18 hours for them to rest from stress. So they don't, they don't get more stressed up. Feeding is also a stress to them. So you can start with them. So this, I decided you are going to raise them to melange size. Although these sizes are up to melange, these black ones are up to melange size. But uh, you can feed them in the next two to three weeks. They will be they will be up to five hundred grams. Because here now we have from two hundred to two hundred fifty grams. So in the next in the next two to three weeks they will get up to 500 grams then you can set them as melange size and for if you don't want to sell as melange size you can raise them to table size which is one kg and just that size. so from then we will pick up to the blue stock stage So from, from the melon size, we are going to pick up from the grow out stage. That's if we are not doing the melange. That's if we are not stopping at melange. And if we are not stopping at table size also, we we'll also go to the grow out size.
so for the purpose of this uh of this class we'll be raising all these fishes this 271 fishes to blue stock so if you also want to go for the blue stock uh, size so you can go for the class on blue stock keeping thank you very much for staying in the class Thank you for choosing Grand Skills as your number one online free professional course creator. For your notice, I want you to know that the instructor of this course has put in so much effort, time and money just to create this content for you to learn all for free. So please do well to click on the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification to all so you will be the first to get our video tutorials we'll be posting at all time. Also give it a thumbs up and drop a comment to help us improve more. Thank you.